glory be to God. It's Wednesday already, the very ninth day of February. And that means for you and me, it means that we have done 40 days this year already. Remember, we are continuing and final today, today, the special divine encounter with Aligio. And the time will be 6 p.m. and it's going to be online on all channels of the church. Praise the Lord. Please don't forget. We started something yesterday and we said the question, are you born again? We're going to conclude that today. And the question is still, are you born again? Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we want to say thank you to you. Thank you for the salvation of us. So thank you for keeping us. Bible says you are the one that is able to sustain and keep in mind. Thank you for keeping us. And please keep us till the end. And our prayer is that for everyone of us that have issues with our salvation, please again speak to us and help us. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. So, friends, remember our text is in John 3 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. And whoever believeth on him shall not perish, but shall have life everlasting. Remember that's our text. Now, in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, reading from verse 3, the Bible says, The weapons that we use, I'm reading, please mind me, I'm reading the easy to read version. It says, The weapons we use are not human ones, our weapons have power from God and can destroy the enemy's strong places. We destroy people's arguments and we tear down every proud idea that raises itself against the knowledge of God. We also capture every thought and, every, and make it keep up and obey Christ. We are ready to punish anyone, anyone, there are anyone there who does not obey. But first, our but first we want you to totally obey. Totally be obedient. To fully be obedient. Praise the Lord. Now, the question is, are you born again? How do I know I'm born again? This is just after answering the other one that is just no. Friends. He said the weapon we use are not humans, the human type. They are not of men. The weapons that men use include disobedience, unforgiveness, wickedness. We don't use such. Oh, strife, uh, selfish desire, ungodliness. We don't use that. When two people are quarreling, the next thing you see, they want to get the other one down. We don't use that. We use love to conquer evil. We use good to conquer bad. In our kingdom, in the kingdom equipment, we don't use physical capacity. We use spiritual capacity. In the kingdom, uh, the kingdom weapon is better every day because our aim is not to kill anyone or put anyone down. Is to make things better, and that's very key. The Bible records something in John, first John chapter 3, if you read from verse 1 to 3. He said, See what an incredible quality of love the Father has shown to us that we will be permitted to be named and called and counted the children of God. What an honor! So, if you want to. If you are born again and you have that honor, you must be conscious of the love of the Father that He bestowed on you. And He said, mm. He said, and so we are, we are. For this reason, the world does not know us because it did not know Him. Beloved, we are even there and now children of God, and it is not yet made clear what we will be after His coming. But one thing we know, we, we, we know that when he comes and the reveal is revealed, we will, as his children, be like him. Because we will see him just as he is. You know, there's so many things about our salvation. Let me just stop there. You can read the rest. You see, when you are born again, you don't use the system of the world. The system of the world is that an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. The system of the world is that, oh, if two of us are competing for something, we cannot compete with love. We cannot compete with understanding. We must compete negatively, trying to bring another person down. No. See, in the kingdom of God, 
Righteousness, joy, peace, and the Holy Ghost is key. And that's why if you are born again, you are conscious of God, not of yourself. The Bible says in Galatians 2.20, I am crucified in Christ. Yet I live. But the life I live is not my own. It's the one of him that loved me and died for me. So, I must live that life to please him if I am born again. If you are giving your life to Jesus, live to please Jesus. The Lord bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.